Hello, Ezra. Sorry for a really late video. So, anyway, I'm gonna make it up right now. So, um, question time. Your first question was... Well, I have to... I wrote this all down. I have to read them now. Um, what was my favorite part of American Beauty? My favorite scene? My favorite character? My favorite symbol? So, I'm gonna make this as concise as I can because I have two questions to ask you and I have another one to ask... to answer of yours. So, my favorite character is Angela. I tend to gravitate towards really tragic characters since she's just so insecure with herself it's not even funny. Not to mention that I wrote a paper on her and I just got to know her much better than before, I guess. Um, my favorite scene was when Lester takes off Angela's pants and then he finds out that she's a virgin but she says she's willing to go for it anyway and he doesn't end up having sex with her. I just thought that was very, very admirable. He could have easily gone much farther than he did and he did not. He was the... He was kind of the adult in the situation which is really nice. Um, my favorite... Oh, I did my favorite scene. My favorite symbol um, is actually the scene that you dislike. Um, my favorite symbol is the plastic bag. I get it, it's kind of a stupid, stupid object, but I, I like what it represents, that the, even the mundane can be beautiful. So I like that message. Um, that's all of them. Um, your second question was, what is my least favorite trend? And I have to agree on your um, nerd trend. I just think people are taking it way too far and trying too hard, I guess. Um, and I was having a lot of trouble thinking of another one because I didn't want to copy you because that's too easy. So I thought of robot vacuum cleaners. You know, like the ones where they have to go back into their garage to, ch to like charge, but otherwise they bounce against the walls, like cleaning your house. I thought that was kind of dumb. I figure if you're just gonna, if you're gonna set out to clean, just make an effort and just do it. So that's my philosophy. I hate that trend. I hate that object. Um, my questions for you. This one kind of requires a little bit of background. Um, my question for you is, if you had the opportunity to kill someone you hate and you knew you could get away with it, would you do it? Um, I had to, with a group, um, go around my school asking this question, both anonymously and not anonymously, and um, get answers, and actually the results are quite frightening. Like, a lot of people said they would. Not to, um, not to make your decision for you. I don't think I would. I just don't, I don't, I dislike people, but I don't hate anyone enough where I would want to take their life, their life, their life. Um, and my second question for you is, what is your favorite mundane task? Like, what, not necessarily your favorite, but what, what chore would you not necessarily mind doing? And I hope this doesn't get you in trouble with your mom, because I'm sure she, if she saw it, she might take advantage of it. Um, I'd have to say laundry. I like doing laundry. I honestly do not mind it, and I kind of have no choice as to whether it gets done or not. If I don't do it, no one else will, and I will have no clean clothes. So, I don't know, I like, I like pouring this open, and I like, I like hanging stuff up to dry, but I don't do that nearly enough, so. Those are my answers to